Why is hub bore so important? How is offset measured? And how is it different from backspacing? We're going to go over all of that and more. By the end of this video, you'll know what all of the different parts of a wheel are and how all of the measurements are calculated. But first, let's talk about a new and easy way to buy wheels. We now offer one-click wheel and tire packages at SD Wheel. Just enter your year, make, and model, and you can buy wheel and tire packages in as little as one click. We offer package savings and guaranteed delivery dates on select one-click packages. Let's start with the middle of the wheel and work our way out. At the very center of the wheel, you have your hub bore. Generally, you don't see this once your wheels are on because it is covered by the center cap. The hub bore fits over the hub of your vehicle and is measured by the diameter of the bore. This number must be equal to or greater than the size of the hub bore on your vehicle. If not, it won't fit over the hub. Finding a wheel with the same size hub bore as your vehicle is ideal, but if it is larger, you will want a hub centric ring. Hub centric rings fit over the hub of your vehicle and act as an adapter to ensure that your wheel is always centered on the hub of your vehicle. On the back side of your wheel you have the mounting face. The mounting face sits flat against the hub of your vehicle. You may think that your lug nuts or lug bolts are all that holds your wheel onto your vehicle but the friction between the mounting face of your wheel and the mounting face of your hub play just as big as a role in keeping your wheels from falling off. Next is the bolt circle. These are the holes that you use to mount your wheel to your vehicle using lug nuts or lug bolts. The measurement of the bolt circle is known as the bolt pattern and is the measurement of the distance between the lug studs. The way that this is measured differs based on how many lug studs your vehicle has. If you have five lugs, you will measure from the center of your stud to the outside edge of the stud across from the first. For four, six, and eight lug vehicles, you measure from the middle point of the two studs directly across from each other. Working our way out towards the middle of the wheel, you have the spokes. These can vary widely in design and are what makes your wheels unique. They also add structural integrity and connect to the middle of the wheel and to the barrel. Finally, you have the barrel of the wheel. The barrel is the outermost part of the wheel and is what your tire mounts to. The barrel also designs to aid the spokes in it adding structural integrity. The lips and flanges are also designed specifically to hold the tire on the wheel and make the barrel stronger. Those are all of the parts of the wheel. Now let's move on to the different measurements of the wheel and figure out exactly how they are calculated. Offset is the measurement from the center of your wheel to the mounting face. If the mounting face lines up with the center of your wheel, you have zero offset. If the mounting face of your wheel is set in towards the inside edge of your wheel, you have negative offset. Positive offset is the opposite of negative. With positive offset, the mounting face of your wheel will be towards the outside edge of your wheel. In short, the smaller the offset of a wheel is, the more it will stick out. Backspacing is a less common measurement than offset, but can still be important. Backspacing is also measured from the mounting face of your wheel, but the center point of the wheel does not come into play here. Instead, you will measure from the mounting face to the inside edge of the wheel. While offset is a much more common measurement these days, backspacing is still important and should be calculated, especially if you're trying to measure clearance for a big brake kit. That's a lot to take in. Luckily, we include all of these measurements on our product pages, so you don't have to do any of the math yourself. Let us know what you've learned in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos.